In this video, I will show you how to set up and simplify difference quotient for linear functions. So I have two examples. Um, well, the goal in a pre-calculus class is setting up this difference quotient and simplifying it, but you will do so much more with I mean, what this is really. It's really um, a slope formula. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But you'll, you'll use this piece um, to define derivative. So that's an exciting part. But for right now, our focus is on how to set it up and how to simplify. So let's do some algebra. So um, this is the formula that you will be using. Um, so there are three big parts, okay? Um, the hardest part is this, setting up f of x plus h. What that means is you will substitute x plus h into the function. So when I set up this, um, I will do this. I'll draw a long fraction bar. Now take a look. I'm going to substitute x plus h into this function. The function, the original one, was 5x minus 21, right? Instead of 5x minus 21, guess what I'm going to substitute in? x plus h. So what you do is where you originally had x, replace this x with x plus h. That is how you find this green highlighted part, okay? If you see an x, just replace it with parenthesis x plus h, close that parenthesis. Now, um, what I just did is only the green circle part, agree? I only did the green circle part. So that means I need to continue. What's after the green circle part? Minus sign, right? So draw the minus sign. What am I subtracting though? After minus sign, I need to subtract f of x. Now, what is f of x? f of x is 5x minus 21. So put that 5x minus 21. And I want you to draw these grouping symbols. Draw parentheses around your f of x because subtracting 5x minus 21 um, it will change the signs, okay? Because you're gonna have to distribute here, okay? And I'll distribute. So if I can try to make this a little bit more clear for you. So what I highlighted in green is this f of x plus h. Let me pick another color. What I'm highlighting in orange is 5x minus 21 is f of x. Now, what else do I need to do? I have to put all this over what letter? H. Okay, so setup is done. We are done setting it up. After that, I just need to simplify this, okay? So let's start with the top of the fraction. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Because, you know, in the bottom, there's nothing else. It's just H. So I will say this is the same as, um, this is equal to H in the denominator. Let us distribute 5 to x plus h. x plus h will turn into 5x plus 5h. And bring down that minus 21. And look, I have to distribute this negative sign. So that will turn into minus 5x. And look at the sign changing. Negative times negative 21 is positive 21. Now, if you do this right, a lot of things will cancel out. So let's take a look at what terms get canceled out. Uh, let me try to like highlight them in the same color or something like that. So first of all, notice the 5x and negative 5x. Those are opposites, right? So 5x and negative 5x will cancel out. Those are gone. All right, what else? Um, let me do brown color. Look, the negative 21 and the positive 21, those will cancel out, right? So the only thing that's left is 5h on top of the fraction and h in the bottom of the fraction. But hey, guess what? h can be canceled out too. So your final answer is 5. So this is how you set up a difference quotient for a linear function. And this is how you simplify. I really think the hardest part is setting it up at first. So what I mean is like the green part, rewriting it this way and subtracting this f of x. Because after setting it up, um, you all have to just 
distribute and combine some like terms, okay? Um, so let's look at another example where we set up the difference quotient. So um, I'll copy the difference quotient formula. I will copy this and I'll put it right here. Okay, and let me do this one, okay? So first of all, I need to do a big fraction bar, right? The big fraction bar where I have H in the bottom. And on top of the fraction, I need to do F of X plus H. So this is what I do, okay? Where that X is, you're going to replace the X with X plus H. So the big structure was negative X times something plus 3, right? What are we going to put in, in here? Instead of X, we're going to plug in X plus H. So what did I just write? I just wrote the green part. I just wrote the green part. Okay, this right here. Now I need to follow the rest of the formula, do the minus sign, and then I need to do the second part, this part right here, I need to subtract f of x. And what is f of x? f of x is negative 7x plus 3. Put that f of x in another parenthesis so that you can distribute that minus sign that you will always have in front of the, minus, the f of x, okay? Now, it's time for us to distribute. So if I distribute the negative 7 into x plus h, if I distribute this negative sign to these two, oh, by the way, so I'm trying to like match the, the colors. So the green, and this is that part, and the orange is this part right here. All right, so let's just distribute on the numerator, negative 7x minus 7h. Okay, that's from distributed property. Bring down the plus 3. And then we're most uh, distributing this negative sign. We're going to have positive 7x and then minus times positive 3. That's going to give me minus 3 all over h. Now, like I said, if things went well, a lot of things will cancel out. So let's take a look. I have negative 7x and I also have positive 7x. Those are opposites, so those are gone. What else? I also have positive 3, um, which will cancel out with this negative 3. So the only thing that's left on the numerator is minus 7h, negative 7h. And in the denominator, it, there is h. So we can cross out that h, say that our final solution is negative 7. So linear cases, guys, I don't think it's too complicated, but it's a great one to start with because the setting up part is just difficult. So um, in this video, we looked at two examples of linear functions um, and how to find their simplified difference quotient. Okay, I will come back and show you how to do the quadratic cases. And quadratic case number one, this is very similar to what you will do for me for your week four problem. Okay.